Hello, I'm Glenn Patterson, course developer and instructor, and I'd like to share with you a three-minute introduction to a Johns Hopkins University online course, Global Scarcity in Freshwater Systems, Crisis and Solutions. We live on a water planet. 70% of its surface is covered by water. Water seems to be everywhere. With so much water around us and even inside us, it would seem that water scarcity would seldom be a problem and we could just take the abundance of water for granted. Indeed, many of us tend to do just that, assuming that this precious resource, which we all need for so many uses every day, will magically and inexpensively appear when we turn on the tap. But for over two billion people in the world, water is a scarce resource. And for over 800 million, fetching water means treks of up to several hours to water supplies of questionable quality and quantity, an arduous task that falls disproportionately on women and girls. Even in developed countries with more reliable water systems, growing demand and often diminishing supplies create water shortages that require increasingly expensive and creative solutions. Climate variability and change can alter patterns of precipitation and evapotranspiration, contributing even more to water scarcity. This increasing widespread scarcity of water is why Fortune magazine has said, water is the oil of the 21st century, and why Ishmael Sarah Geldon, former vice president of the World Bank, said, the wars of the 21st century will be fought over water. Water scarcity affects not only people who use the water directly, but also ecosystems and the people whose livelihoods depend on those ecosystems. Fortunately, there are actions that can be taken to better understand and mitigate water scarcity. Former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon put it this way, there is still enough water for all of us, but only so long as we keep it clean, use it more wisely, and share it fairly. In this course, we'll take a careful look at the types of water scarcity, its extent, causes and effects, and actions that are and can be taken to better understand and mitigate the problem. I hope to see you online.